This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. Well, hi, hi there. It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo covering John R today for Rettinger's Rants. I am not a Rettinger, but I am a John, so this could be like John's Rants and I would be included. And I'm recording from my webcam. No, I'm not. I'm recording from my DSLR propped onto my desk, pretending like it's a webcam, but you guys knew that because you're smart. Today, I'm gonna talk about software support on Mac OS, rather lack of for stuff like mice, you know, my, like, these guys. Um, let's get to it. I'm gonna share my story with you guys. I don't know if this is necessarily a rant per se, but I'm just, just, just go along with me. And like a lot of you folks out there, I grew up playing computer games, okay? Computer games. And I didn't really take gaming seriously until I started playing a game called Counter-Strike, okay? CS, CS 1.5 to be exact. Then I started looking into various ways of how I can improve my gameplay. That's when I started trying and looking at various gaming peripherals. My whole gaming world was shaken, okay? You're shaking like this. You like, like you grab some guy. Listen, listen to me. When I picked up the legendary Logitech MX510 mouse right here, I got the red one. Okay, I got this for like 40 bucks back then. This thing is like 10 years old. It still works. It was epic then, it's epic now. This thing is awesome. All was great in the land of Narnia or Middle Earth. No, Narnia. All was great in the land of Narnia until a couple of years ago when I switched from a Windows based computer onto a Mac based computer, specifically a MacBook Pro. Not only were a lot of the games I enjoyed not on Mac OS, but I noticed that my mouse was acting incorrectly. Not incorrectly as in, oh, you're, you're acting weird. You're strange. Don't, don't be friends with this kid. Not like that. It was just, it wasn't working right. And of course there are no drivers for this thing on Mac OS, which I learned to expect. So I picked up a more modern, more hip, more up-to-date Logitech mouse. I believe it was a G500 or whatever they decided to call it. And the first one crapped out. I returned it to Best Buy. The second one, the wire just went weird. It came out or something. So I returned that and then I thought, you know what? Forget you Logitech. Okay, I'm gonna move on to another company. Went on to Razer. And that is when I picked up a Razer Death Adder, Razer, this thing. Razer Death Adder 3500, 3.5G 3 infrared. Got all excited, I came home, I plugged it in, I set up the drivers, and I still noticed that stupid jittery issue. And it wasn't like, oh, you'll get used to it. J just, just, you'll get used to it. It wasn't like that. It was just, it was like, you tried to draw a line like this, and the mouse would go like, it was, it was literally like, I don't care what you do, I'm gonna make your line ugly. So I got super frustrated, of course, and I went on Google to hopefully find some answers. And you know what? I wasn't the only one. A lot of people had this same issue. This issue was pretty popular, okay? Like the popular kid in class. So everybody's like, hey, I know your name. You're that kid. And you're like, yeah, suck. And this issue wasn't with Razer or with Logitech, but with just mice in general on Mac OS. I think if you have a, a, a mighty, magic mighty mouse, whatever Apple calls it, that, 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 that super mouse thing on Mac OS, it'd work fine. But other than that, it's like, no, you're, you're, you're gonna suck. So what I ended up doing was picking up this app, this software, this whatever you wanna call it, this program called Steer Mouse, and just like that, like magic, like how Instagram just goes whoot and your picture's like all orangey and pretty. It fixed it instantly. Steer Mouse is free for about a month or so, and after that, you're gonna pay 20 bucks if you wanna keep on using it, which is totally fine. It's totally worth it because it fixed my problem. Mac OS was like, I'm a wreck it. And then Steer Mouse is like, I'm gonna fix it. But the journey doesn't end there, my friend. No, no, no siree. Fast forward 1.5 years. And Razer notified me that, oh, we got a new firmware update thing. You, you should download it. Come here, have some candy. Just download the software thing. It's called Synapses 2.0, whatever our marketing department decided to call it. So I thought, oh, okay, fine, I'll just download it. And big mistake. Okay, because after I downloaded it, I installed it, my mouse stopped working. My Razer mouse stopped working. So I kept plugging it in and out, restarted Synapses 2 a bunch of times, restarted my computer a bunch of times. It, it was just weird, the settings weren't saved, the mouse was jittery again, but in a whole new way. It was just unpleasant, it was just unhappy times. So I turned to Google yet again, and I found out that, hey, other people with Synapses 2 and Razer mice had the same issue on Mac OS. Go figure. Thankfully, I had the old original Razer firmware installer thingy backed up in my external hard drive. I found it, uninstalled the Synapses too. It's like, hey, I, I don't care. Put you in the trash bin, th throw you away and, and, and step on it. And I reinstalled the old firmware and, and I thought, oh, this should fix it. This should fix it. It wrecked it, now I fixed it. Held my breath, okay? It was silent, the room was silent. Held my breath, plugged it in, 
Success. Mouse was recognized. I can move it. No disconnecting issues or anything. But it didn't feel the same. It didn't swipe properly. I can't. I can't describe it. It's like it was like eh. You know, so before I was like, vroom, and now I was like, eh. I have this theory, okay? I have this theory. Mice like the Razer Death Adder have onboard memory. That's where it stores in various settings because it's all technologically advanced like that. And I don't know why, it just has it and, and it's just there. So I think when the Synapsis 2 firmware mess up thing was all glitchy, it stores settings incorrectly into the mouse. So when I uninstalled it and reinstalled the old firmware, there was like this clash of settings that didn't work properly. And now my mouse just doesn't work. So here we go again, okay, mouse shopping, mouse shopping. So I thought, okay, forget your razor. I'm gonna go back to Logitech and uh, did some research and the next best thing was this, the Logitech, what is this? Where's the serial? G something. The G, the G400 mouse. For some reason, I didn't trust laser mice. I just had bad experiences with it. So, okay, I thought optical, the best Logitech optical mouse with the G400 and it works Awesomely. Uh, that's what I'm using right now and it works perfectly fine. It's awesome. But the entire journey to get here was just so frustrating. Why do you need to download external software to use a mouse with the computer even though it has firmware that from the company that was like, hey, we support Mac, but not really. I don't get that. It's just like, I'll say, it's like if they had a pizza store and then you go into the pizza store and they're like, hey, can I have some pizza? Oh, absolutely. Well, what would you like? Oh, I like pepperoni pizza. Oh, we have pepperoni. Do you now? No, not really. And then you leave and there's a bad taste in your mouth. How does that make sense? I have no idea, but that makes just as much sense as this mice situation with Mac OS. Anyways, I'm gonna take a quick break and thank our wonderful friends at Netflix. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. Okay, that's very important, the hassle part. That's very, very important. As a Netflix member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right onto your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii console. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, and you can cancel anytime. To get a free 30-day trial membership, just go to netflix.com slash buffalo and sign up today. Again, be sure to go to netflix.com slash buffalo so that they'll know that we sent you. All right, to summarize this little story sharing brand time, those of you who are on Mac OS who are having issues with your mouse check out an application called steer mouse or alternatively there's another app called usb overdrive i've tried both but i prefer steer mouse i don't know why and um that's it i guess this was john q from techno buffalo thank you very much for tuning in and i'm gonna turn off my fake webcam now have yourselves a wonderful day bye